comes to weather today, we have yes. one more day of summer-like weather to enjoy. That's right. It's been a warm stretch. Over the last two weeks, yesterday was our 15th day of above average temperatures. We had one more on today, making 16 straight days, feeling like July and September, especially the last four days, with highs at 90 degrees or higher in Green Bay. But things changing big time for tomorrow. This morning it's 61 degrees in Green Bay, a dew point at 61 degrees as well. We are seeing a little bit of fog out there in spots. 64 degrees currently in Appleton, 645 a.m. is our sunrise this morning. Here's a look at Storm Shield radar. We're also tracking a few showers out there, mainly to the west of Green Bay and the Fox Valley. A closer look showing around the Watoma area in Washera County, Wapaka starting to see the rain now move on in. Some of those downpours are a little bit heavy. Another little shower just to the east of Shano. As far as visibility goes, down to a quarter mile in Menominee, seven miles in Ephraim. Really, Menominee is our only main spot seeing some uh, locally dense fog. Also, there's more fog if you're traveling up to the UP this morning. Temperatures this morning in the 60s throughout northeast Wisconsin, 64 in Clintonville, 63 currently in Oshkosh. We're still on the warm side of the system, but much cooler air is off to the west, 50s and even 40s. And that's the air that's heading our direction for tonight into tomorrow. We're going to see this cold front slide on through. It's going to bring some showers and storms later on today. And that much cooler and drier air that's to the west will flood on in here tonight. And you'll notice a big difference as you head out the door tomorrow morning. We do have a chance for some thunderstorms out there today, but the severe threat looks fairly low. So that's some good news there. But we will locally see some heavier downpours as we head into the afternoon. Clouds increase. And we'll have scattered storms and rain develop. Some of those downpours heavy, maybe some gustier winds and some tiny hail, but that would be about it. And then we'll dry out for this evening. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds, much cooler, much less humid, and winds will be breezy out of the northwest. And then clear skies for tomorrow night. Rainfall amounts will vary, but underneath some of those heavier downpours could locally see some amounts higher than a half an inch. And then looking ahead to the next home game for the Packers on Thursday, looks like it'll be dry to start. There could be a shower late in the game, but notice temperatures much cooler than what we saw last game on Sunday. 84 degrees for today. Rain and thunderstorms looking like a pretty good bet later on today, mainly this afternoon. Tonight we dry out. Temperatures drop quick down to 53 for an overnight low. Your extended forecast 60s and seasonable for tomorrow. We're up to 71 on Thursday and then another shot of some colder air for Friday into Saturday, but the weekend. Overall, looking gorgeous. Oh my to gosh, get outside. time to get outside this weekend. Looks like a beautiful fall weekend. Fantastic. Yep. All right.